Hi everybody, welcome to a new video. I hope you've all been doing really well. Tonight I'm going to be showing you what I am packing for myself for one night away. So tomorrow morning my family and I will be driving down to the Sunshine Coast where we will be staying overnight just for the one night. And as I mentioned in previous videos, because I like the idea of traveling and I like the idea of backpacking, uh, we don't really get a chance to actually backpack around you know, the, the world or anything like that. So this for me going away for a night or more is the closest that I can get at the moment for those kind of backpacking travel experiences. So I like to take every opportunity I, I can to try to incorporate my minimalism with uh, going away for however long I need to go away for. So uh, we are filming this at night time. I wasn't able to do it during the day because I've just been busy doing a lot of stuff. And so, yeah, the quality of this video might not be that great, but this is real life and I hope you enjoy this video. So what I'm going to be showing you in a moment is the things I'm going to be wearing down tomorrow when we drive down uh, and, and things that I'm also going to be packing. So let's get into it. All right. So tomorrow, what I'm going to be wearing when we drive down is I have my t-shirt here that has the sequin stars now i'm hoping that i will keep this clean because i plan on wearing it on the next day as well which is the monday i have a fresh pair of underwear and my black bonds sort of crop top sports top thing and then i have my linen blend pants my black ones so be wearing them tomorrow which will be great for driving in and then i have my dark gray jumper so which is lightweight but yeah it should be should be fine to wear tomorrow so that's what I'm wearing down there I'll also be wearing a pair of socks and I'm also going to be wearing my converse because I'm going to be driving and I want uh, some enclosed shoes on for you know comfort and stuff like that and foot support uh, over here what I've got is I'm going to be testing out my new little foldable backpack I, I really wish that it was in black or something like that uh, but this was the only one that I could find if you don't know I bought this recently for just under five dollars it is around about 13 and a half liters I worked out and so we'll see uh, how this goes and it folds all up into um, a little pouch thing but inside this I'm going to be packing a singlet or a tank top whichever you want to call it I can wear that tomorrow night while we're at our accommodation as like pajamas, I can wear it the next day. I can lay it under, under other things. So I've got that. I have my pair of loose shorts. Again, this is something that I can wear either to bed or I can wear it the next day, whatever I choose to do with it. I have another pair of underwear and I also have a uh, long black skirt so really I'm going down with including the, the sh pants that I'm going to be wearing on the drive down I've got one two and three bottoms which seems like a lot um, and I have two tops and as well as a jumper so that seems like a lot uh, three bottoms two tops but again that includes things that I could sleep in while I'm there. I'm thinking about bringing my black headband, not 100% sure there. I have some compostable bags here that has my toothbrush and our family toothpaste in. Um, everyone else's toothbrush will go in here in the morning, so I just wanted to show you that, and I'll put that in my bag. I also have my uh, like cosmetics toiletries, which I'll show you in a minute. I have a pack of antibacterial wipes which is going to be one of the things that I'm not going to have in my bag but it'll be in the car I do have my shoulder bag and that has my coin purse it has a pen and I have uh, some Burt's Bees lip balm spare car keys my sunglasses my purple ointment and my fidget ring so that will go that's my everyday items I'm bringing my iPad my Apple pen my charger this case is to represent my phone because I'm currently filming on my phone um, that's one of my designs on my Redbubble store 
and I also have my noise cancelling headphones over here which I will put in the bag but I wasn't going to show you what's inside I've made up a little first aid kit of just some antihistamines some ibuprofen and some creams for my daughter's eczema and I also have some medications there as well that we need and that's that's what I'm bringing so I'll show you inside my cosmetics bag okay so inside this toiletry bag I have a dark red lipstick which I use on my lips as well as my cheeks if I want to I have my perfume oil as always I have deodorant I have a comb this was from the bathroom this is a family comb I have my eyebrow pencil my um, sort of highlight eyeshadow crayon as you can see there and then this is a little tin of hair ties so that's everything there as well as obviously as I said in my handbag I will have my Burt's Bees this isn't going to focus my lip balm and the ointment so the ointment because it's been winter time I've been using this as a face cream as well as like a body cream kind of thing uh, it's been really hydrating so I'm going to pack up everything in here and um, I will show you how it all turns out Okay, so everything is packed away. My clothes that I'm wearing tomorrow are set aside. I've just realized that um, there's a sticker over here because my daughter was playing with it earlier. Um, as you can see, everything in here is packed and you know, there's still plenty of room. Yeah, there's just heaps of room. This is, um, you know, they're not the best quality bag. Like I wouldn't do full-time travel, this kind of bag, but it is a cheap little, you know, what did I say? About 13 and a half liter bag that I wanted to trial on my way down tomorrow. If for some reason it breaks on me because it is cheap quality, everything would pack into like a food shopping bag or something like that for the drive home. It's not a big deal. I'm not that, you know, precious about it or anything like that. It's just a cheap little foldable bag that I wanted to try. Uh, the only thing that I'm not bringing with me, I've decided not to bring is my black pen. I realize I don't really need a back black pen this time around because I'm not bringing a notebook or my Sudoku game or anything like that and it sort of made me realize there are a few things in here that I could do without but I have chosen to bring them with me so I don't need to take my eyebrow pencil with me I don't need my perfume oil with me I don't need the lipstick but I wanted to bring them anyway because they're things that I like to use for you know doing my eyebrows and maybe putting on a little bit of lipstick if I want to I could certainly do without them and maybe next time I will just choose not to bring them but this time I thought they take up such a small amount of space that I may as well bring them I will use them and uh, just you know enjoy having them with me so everything is packed away here the only thing that I don't have in here is my phone charger because I will charge my phone up tonight. I will also charge up my iPad and, and headphones and stuff as well. But um, my charger will come down and it'll be packed in the bag once we leave tomorrow. And that is it. I might do a little bit of a mini vlog while we're down there tomorrow and uh, I will upload that. But I just also wanted to quickly thank everyone who's been subscribing lately and leaving comments and giving my videos a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. I'm a small channel and just knowing that people have also been inspired to try things out or they've you know they've been leaving comments and everyone's been so lovely I really really appreciate it it means the world to me and yeah so I just wanted to say thank you and a big hello and welcome to everybody who is new here yeah so that's it for me today take care of yourselves and your loved ones and I will see you in my next video bye and this is my daughter hi <laughs> I'm watching Barbie